hey, you know, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just living my life like it's golden, living my life like it's golden. But, you know, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying, talk politics, but I love the president. You know what I'm saying? I love everybody. And at the end of the day, the day got to end. They wanted politically. Did they want your endorsement? They want hey, you to help you. Okay, that was her response. Instead of getting someone, well, I'm gonna be honest. Instead of getting someone like a Candace Owens or someone that's really political in tune, they always get rappers. But go right ahead. Okay, I wanna um I wanna answer a question here. She said um if you think Trump like black people, you're crazy. He likes money. I never said he liked black people. I'm going to vote with the political views that are aligned that's going to help my people, that's going to put us in the best possible position. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you don't like me because I don't like your ass either. I care. <laughs> if I had the money and the power, I would run for a state elderman and do whatever I can do. So, so I don't care what, but it just, just did. But let's go back to this. Malcolm X has said we can't let entertainers and and sports people be speak for us when their minds are not there. This is one of the biggest platforms, and she say I'm living my life like it's golden. There's so many other things she could be talking about. Then I'm living my life like it's golden. She said, I don't care about that. I'm just living my life. I'm not worrying about that. Un unemployment rates are high for black people. Dropouts are high. We have a, we, we, the, the crime is immensely up. There's a gang issue in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is more dangerous than Chicago's now. New York, we have the immigrant situation. And she said, I'm living my life like it's golden. That's why we cannot listen to no rapper, with the exception of Killer Mike. No, I'll say no. But let's say if if she was more politically sound, I would have told her go ahead and do the interview. But at the same time, you don't know if her team told her to do something like that. Like, hey, if they come on with a political question, don't answer it because you're not there to be answered those type of questions. But to me, I would have I would have loved to see if she was able to go on there and tell them like, hey. I'm not really endorsing either or, but I'm just going there just to see their political views and see how they can change that aspect of the youth, black youth in America. But she didn't even she didn't even answer the question. You just pretty much pretty much quoting the lyrics. So so it it, it it made it seem like the not all you know you know I believe black women are very educated, but it made it, it got a bad reputation of black women. I'm just being honest. I'm not going to do that, something like that. But go ahead, I can. One hundred percent. But I also want to say, um, um, precious Tamika, you might have a point. You say she's a politician, Tamika. Let me ask you a question. And I want to say this for everybody. And and I want to say this. Um, money gets fundraiser and power important. And for the network, if you want to run, then run, Hakim. I would like to run, and I'll be I'll be ruthless. You said we can't get out in our own way an opportunity. So. Let me tell you something, um, Tamika. You said she's not a politician. Let me ask you something, Tamika. Why would they put Gorilla up there? You know how many people who could have went and spoke for us? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said Candace Owens. There's other people that's very smart. Adam, that, um, uh, Adam West. It, 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 listen, Adam Chicago, West. Chicago probably no more names. We got to think about it. There's tons of people that could have went up there and gave a sound answer to what she say, who we going to support. They got Gorilla up there. We talking about F and F. Fuck nigga free. That's her number one song. She said, what you think they did that? What? Come on now. Listen, I'm asking you, Tamika. Tamika, help me out. Tamika, help me out. Why they put F and F up there? Tamika, why would they put her? Why would they put that? She put she made a song that was derogatory to black men, and they asked her for political views. Answer that for me, Tamika. Because they, remember, they they appealing to the youth. That's why the youth, the youth voters. Oh, gorilla supporting them, so I'm gonna support them too. That's how people get um, suckered in. Shout outs to um, Killer Swag. She said Biden and Harris only appeal to. Yeah. Not black people. 
Yeah. You say, you know, they're going to do whatever they can to make us look bad. 100. Now you're getting what. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Tamika, now, now we're on the same page. Now we're on the same page. So, and mind you, Tamika, that's your party that's doing that. That's your party with their liberal views. With their liberal views. Black people are so much in a worse position that I don't even know since Biden been in the, since Biden been in office. They closed down community centers in Massachusetts for black kids so they can house immigrants. The border's getting crazy. Shout outs to the Texas governor. He ain't playing games. He playing. New York is running rapid. All this affects you. And me too. Because I might not be black American, but I look like them. He said, I'm not a liberal. I vote independent. Okay. My apologies, Tamika. My apologies. My apologies. Go ahead. No, but that's why they did it. I came. They did it because of the aspect of, you already know, it's, um, it's the youth. Entertainers, like you said about the manga, it's true. But just because it simplifies she's a youth, it's easy to get you support. You love music. They know that. They've been doing that for years. 100%. So that that's the situation with that, but I find it to be ridiculous. I think they should have got someone that was well, like more politically sound to be a, pretty much to go over there and to talk to Joe Biden. But that's how they're gonna continue to do. They're gonna continue to get ignorant people that doesn't know about the political game, and then they're gonna sway voters to go on their side because, you know, a lot of youth today they're not really doing research. They're just going by whatever their favorite artist is saying. So they know that they know it's a game they playing, and they understand the game. And uh, uh, look, I don't know. You see, Mills. Mills said she ready to throw out both parties. Hey, hey, listen, Mills. I agree with you, but we can't do it. What we need to do is worry about ourselves. If we create a party and get everybody, if we create a party of our own and make sure everybody sign up for this party, abide by the rules and guidelines, and spread that out to every local municipality all over the United States, we'll do something a little bit better. We can represent the places where black people are there by population, but underrepresented it under, in the office. It's a lot of smart people who just don't care to run, to care to office. There's some local towns, especially in Mississippi, where they're doing bad over there, where the people there just don't seem to care and, and, and to make things better. And I'm not saying they might don't seem to care, but nobody's running for these local offices. It's the same old families running uh, that are the mayor and that are the police officer that and this and that, especially in Jackson, Mississippi. Hmm. I can't, boy. You sure you ain't want to go talk to Joe Biden? I can't. Did you go listen, to it? listen, I tell Sloppy Joe that Trump forever. He said, he said, <laughs> so, but, you put, so you would have put on your mega hat? You you ain't gonna do like sexy red make America sexy again? Yo, you would have done no, 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 no. Make uh, the MAGA hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a MAGA and make America black again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but her response didn't appeal to young Verda. It just made her think that she wasn't concerned. She and listen, Tamika, she wasn't concerned because you want to know what? I'm living my life like it's golden. Living my life like it's golden. <laughs> 